You follow Dakota. Can I follow you? Look at that old church right there. Yeah. That's cool. There's two of them. I'm not really sure, Princess. Your sister's a little dramatic. Yeah. Yeah. And I just think There's the train. <gasps> oh, I don't want that train. That's the train we're going to ride on. Yeah. That is so cool. It is there. yellow and green, huh? I know. You've never been on that one. Nope, you've only been on the Skunk Train and Big Thunder Mountain. There's train parking. We've got to park down there, Daddy. There's tickets. Oh, you buy tickets here, too. Sweet. I don't know. What's all over here? Rio Grande. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can sit out in the open. Dakota, do you see there's an open car? Yeah. There's a covered car. So there's two. There's two cars. Yeah. Especially if we went in a tunnel. Look at that old, that old car. That's pretty cool. And they have restrooms down here. That's way cool. Yeah, don't kick it. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Well, it looks like we're going to be riding this train. Yep, that's the train we're going to ride. That, that this one. one. Yep. Uh, we can sit on the outside or we can sit on the inside. Uh, Virginia and Chucky. I don't care if my hair gets messed up. Did you see that train parking down there? Because we're going to get on the next one. I wonder what's up there, Dakota. If it's like a gift shop or something. They might have, oh, they might have a gift shop over, they have ice cream over there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, what time is it? Okay, we got a little time. I can go in here and look at the railroad gifts. Look at those little benches made out of like axles or something. Train axles. Those are cool. Benches made out of train axles. They have engineer caps, books, overalls, vintage papers, toy shirts, enameled signs, videos. So, ah, your dad's holding it right now. Oh, no. uh, yeah, it's got cord wired into two wires. Signs. Let's go look at this stuff. Do they have pins? They have pins. Cool. Three, is that like one of the like compasses? That that's a open? that's a pocket watch, Dakota. Read it. What does it say? Look at those. Look at those green trees. Those are cool. Yeah, I don't want those. 
Don't touch the glass until somebody has to wash that. Do you see they have um, pins? Oh, really? Lapel pins. And I see oh. the trains. Look at those. Okay. You see the glass We can come back after we ride the train and maybe we'll get something, okay? Yeah, something. That'd be cool. We'll yeah. pick something out. I want those. Those right there. That middle. Mr. U.S. Grant Jr. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold my hand, please. Okay, we're not getting hats. Your dad's holding one that Kenzie's not wearing right now. Cool. We got gummy bears, engineer gummy bears. Well, you're sparkly. Yeah, yeah. they're beads. Yeah, those are beads. Oh, cool. Okay, come on. Um, we can get one afterwards, okay? <laughs> Kids got a shark head. Right, this is gonna be fun. Yep. We're gonna go sit over here on the bench and wait. So it's gonna depart Virginia City at 12.30 and returns at 1.05. I wanna go and see for my birthday. Well, your birthday's in two days, so this is it. Here, let me fix it. Put it. Okay. You gotta hold your hat so it doesn't fly off, okay? You can see the church steeple. side of the train, the face of the canyons, where you've got that gorgeous 100 mile view, or referred to as the east side of the train. The side of the train, the face of the bluff over here, where you have no view, are referred to as the west side of the train. That way you'll know which way to look when I point something out. And there's one more thing I do need to mention, folks, on the way down to Gold Hill. As required by law, I will be riding on the rear platform of the train. The reason for that is the engineer cannot see the rails behind us. If there's any obstructions on the rails, things like wild horses, wild deer, wild buffalo, wild antelope, wild camels, or wild parties, if anything's going on on those rails, I do have an emergency brake lever down there. I will hold that brake lever. The train does stop immediately, and all of you folks will be down there with me. We're going to be getting on the way in just about 30 seconds. I do like to be as close to being on time as possible because we are not Amtrak. <laughs> What's going on? Ah, I thought it was asking me who controls the train. Isn't that guy? I said the conductor.
But that large mountain standing right up in the center of that canyon was named over 160 years ago by the immigrants and pioneers. They named that mountain Sugarloaf. After crossing a great 30 mile desert and coming up through the Carson Plains, the easiest way to get to Virginia City was to come up through Six Mile Canyon. Once they saw Sugarloaf Mountain, they knew they were near their destination, hopefully a better life. Now, across the narrow canyon next to us, a little bit toward the rear of the train, atop that huge pile of tailings, you'll see the remains of the combination shaft. The combination shaft at one time was the deepest mine in the world. Still to this day, that shaft goes straight down, 3,265 feet into the earth, about two thirds of a mile. The combination shaft was a giant mining effort between four mining companies on the Comstock Road. In their wisdom, they thought a main vein of ore existed directly under that spot. If they sent the mine shaft there, they would surely all become very rich. But there were a couple of problems. The first problem was below the 1,600-foot level of that shaft, and all the tunnels flooded with highly mineralized hot ground water, many of those tunnels at 190 degrees Fahrenheit due to the high geothermal pressure and those low depths and installed full of massive Cornish pumps and removed over 4 million gallons of water each day just to keep mining. But the second problem was a little more serious. There was no... And it took over a week for a wagon on the road to make it down the mountains. In 1869, a man named William Sharon, on the board of directors of the Bank of California, thought it would be profitable for that bank to build a railroad between Carson City and Virginia City. Construction on the railroad began in February of 1869 with 1,500 workers employed to build the line. 121 miles from Carson City to Virginia City, seven tunnels were dug through the Washoe Mountains, and the railroad comes up nearly 1,800 feet in altitude, making up one of America's true mountain railroads. Coming through those canyons and around the peaks, the railroad makes it up twists, turns, and bends, and it enters 18 double-inch circles before arriving here in town. Now folks, in just a moment we're going to be passing our water tower off the east side of the train. Just past the water tower, if you look directly over the tracks, you'll see a large depression in the ground full of broken stone and steel piling. Now this was the site of the Julia Mine. The Julia Mine was one of the higher producing mines on the Comstock Road. It also held the distinction of being the hottest working mine on the Comstock. Temperatures of the low levels of the shafts of the Julia Mine now, just a couple of moments, we're going to be 
left side of the train as we come up, folks. Oh, <laughs> 